Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I am here with My Hero Academia Season 5 episode number 13. Alright, the previous episode, we got to the end of the arc, I'm guessing, because everything got like, you know, wrapped up in a very good way. Uh, Bakugo and Todoroki did like, you know, got their license, they captured uh, a few criminals and uh you know like and they had a little bit of party in the end and it was like a nice way to end that small little arc and uh yeah and also bakugo got to know about deku's new uh power new quirk which he has within him and he like you know he accepted it in a very you know like a good way in a uh, like you know in a not very like in a, in a very mature way in a not not in a like you know like bad way but in a gruff way like i was at least expecting him to be kind of envious of him you know because he usually had this kind of a pride going on throughout the whole like you know couple of uh four seasons but after he got uh you know like to an understanding with deku uh i thought that maybe he still would not be able to um what do you call it like except that deku has this kind of new powers and he's like you know going more further getting more stronger than him and he might be a little bit envious of that but turns out like nothing like that happened bakugo has truly changed and he has really become that type of a person who only looks at the you know like like good thing like if he sees like i'm sure like after he got to know that deku got some new powers he thought that okay like i'll have to do more you know like better than him and you know like i'll have to get more stronger than him. like that's a healthy rivalry and i really like that and i'm like i'm really like you know happy to see bakugo here like you know <laughs> the same bakugo from season one who was <laughs> screaming at the top of his lungs because how like you know they who got his power how he uh like you know a loser uh is in the ua how can he like you know become stronger than bakugo all that stuff like you know that same bakugo is now you know sitting down sipping tea and talking with the queen all night <laughs> that was really nice to see you know so yeah so yeah guys without further ado let's get started with this episode this is episode number 13 of my hero academia season 5 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sing it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Nine days ago. Oh, great. Prologue to a tragedy. <laughs> okay. Some new villains or something? Whoa. What the hell? Ooh. Oh, is this? Oh, no. What? This is Shig Shigaraki, isn't it? Oh, wait. I thought we were going to get a new opening. No new opening? I'm guessing in the next episode or something. Was this opening, like, you know, that we are hearing? This is, I'm getting, uh, like, you know, this is solely based on the training, you know, arc that we had. So I'm sure we'll get a new opening in one or two episodes. Because, like, you know, like, as they're saying, like, it's a prologue to a new, like, you know, arc. And keeping this opening does not make sense. So I'm sure we'll get a new opening in one or two episodes. Let's wait for it. I'm looking I'm really looking forward to a new opening. Okay.
ओके ओ ओ दिस अ प्रीवियस वट हैपन प्रीवियस डे Oh, did they on TV? Oh, nice. <laughs> Bakugo. <laughs> Do you have fun training together? Oh my god. Oh my god. Have a merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Is it Christmas up there? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they cut him off <laughs> Oh my god Nine days after tragedy Deka city Writing of the Whoa. Yeah. Hmm. What the? What the hell is this? Criticism and encouragement. Oh. Wait, that's his name? Oh, I think it's a... Like everyone gave him that name. Wait, is this midnight? Oh, uh, Mount Lady. <laughs> wow! Bro. Damn, both of them are here. <laughs> okay. Media practice. Okay. <laughs> Mira is very happy today. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, Minata. Sorry, I I missed the name. <laughs> oh my God! I'm I'm looking forward to Bakugo's interview. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't think I <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, don't. Damn. <laughs> 
Heaven piercing ice wall. <laughs> wow, nice. Okay, don't use that here, please. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, he's not. Okay. Hmm. True. Just like All Might. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to talk about this later on. The whole thing that she said. Endeavor. Haha. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Boss. Okay. Um Um <laughs> Okay, this is <laughs> for the media. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, he is <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Here, here we go. They could, they could start muttering. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he has been visualizing. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Oh. Okay, that works, I guess. <laughs> um, it's better than nothing, I guess. You know? <laughs> okay. Well, at least it's improving, you know? However little it is. <laughs> Quirks of Pazden. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah, alright then. So is he going to go back to Gran Torino? Uh, I'm talking about Deku. I guess because. <laughs> what the? Short-handed. Oh, okay. Oh, the whole the whole thing with hawks, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Or hmm. Yeah, I doubt and anyone's of like you know spy from them. Like Oh, Christmas? I think. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh wow, everyone's wearing a... <laughs> oh, Prop is wearing a green one. Oh. Oh, a lot of them. <laughs> Kirishima's hair. Oh, Baku is not wearing it? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Gantorino most probably. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. So where? Oh, he also cannot. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh, no. 
Oh, this. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Given to peer pressure. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> okay, all might is here, I'm guessing. Ah, there he is. Oh, Eddie's here. Oh, I thought All Might was here. <laughs> I'm no wrong, wrong one. <laughs> oh, that's that's another one. That's Sesubun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's it's really interesting to see um Hagakure eating, you know. <laughs> Either. I want to number one Kamiyani. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> what? What did? Baku sticky cut mochi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie got the thing. <laughs> Tokyo means. Oh my god, great. <laughs> wow, uh, a far boarding. What do you call it? Yeah, that, that's what it's called. <laughs> okay, I, I think this is probably the end of the arc. Like, I was saying, like, the previous episode was the end of the arc, but I think this is technically the end. <clears throat> Because, you know, it felt like it. Uh, we had a Christmas party and most probably from the next episode, we're going to get into some serious stuff. Or, or you know, like, start of some serious stuff. And, <clears throat> yeah. So, <clears throat> nothing much uh, like uh, to talk about this episode because, you know, like, it was like, they were just like talking with each other and it was kind of making the foundation of whatever is going to happen in the next uh, arc and it was a fun episode you know especially in the end when we see uh like you know them in the party kind of having the little christmas party uh it was funny to see bakugo <laughs> you know bakugo and um uh, todoroki <laughs> in the interviews 
okay you know what maybe i think this the ending is like i kind of said that the ending is uh for the party that they had in the previous episode you know for bakugo and todoroki but now that i see it like you know we can see bakugo also like you know picking up things so i'm guessing the shopping that they're doing in this ending is for the christmas party oh no happy birthday oh well, okay maybe not <laughs> anyways oh something left Oh yeah. What's Baku doing? Baku was wearing the jacket. Oh, maybe Endeavor. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay, I yeah, that's a very good idea. Okay, that's the end. I think that will be amazing. You know, like three of them together in Endeavor's under Endeavor's wing. Wow, I, I I really was not expecting that, and yeah, that would be amazing, really. So most probably that's what's going to happen. I don't know, but the way like the, you know they kind of ended it, I think that's probably what's going to happen. All of them are going to go to Endeavor's uh, place. <clears throat> okay, all right. Um, okay, so, so this episode, as I said, like you know nothing much to talk about here. We get to see uh like you know the first portion where we get to see something happened. What nine days ago wasn't it? Yeah, nine days ago, the the disaster that happened that were you know they were, they were talking about in the news. Uh, uh, that was uh, like that was just a sec. Um, that was Shigaraki, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Like I, I'm I'm checking out his uh, picture again. Yeah, that looks like Shigaraki, the one who, you know, came out uh, of that, uh, uh, the destruction that happened. I think that's Shigaraki, that's most probably Shigaraki. Yeah, and, 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 and his voice also, like, sounds familiar, that's Shigaraki, most probably. <clears throat> and I'm sure that has a big implication, which we're going to, probably going to get to know in the next few episodes, you know? and um okay and then we get to the interview they were like interviewing them and all <laughs> but they cut off bahugo's portion <laughs> oh my god that was funny you know like they're, they're just like you know like only todoroki was talking and they were like cutting bahugo's portion um and <laughs> oh my god and uh... <coughs> excuse me <coughs> And then we see uh, nothing much happens. Then we get to uh, get to the next portion where Midnight and um, Mount Lady comes in, and they did do a little bit of um, interview training, something like that. And now <coughs> here's the thing: the thing that they said, you know, uh, I think it was Mount Lady who said that, didn't it? She uh, that uh, yeah, the ultimate uh, moves are the symbols of you, uh, and she said something like why do you scream me out your <laughs> you know like the funny thing like this is like a running joke of the like you know the anime uh <laughs> like of any anime like whenever characters scream out their name you know like they like whenever they do some kind of ultimate technique or something they scream out their move and sometimes not even that whenever someone's attacking they do some kind of like you know uh like sound effect like uh, yeah or like you know like like to hype themselves up while fighting and sometimes they kind of like you know a few animals kind of poke fun at that by like you know like when some characters say that like oh you're you're trying to like you know attack me so why the hell are you screaming like you, you're giving away your position like i've seen some anime like you know poke fun at that anime cliche that always like you know every anime has whenever like you know the battle starts people like start screaming whenever they do some kind of attack <laughs> <laughs> and all now <clears throat> the thing here is like i've always thought of it this way you know like whenever like you know like uh like someone sc starts screaming out their um ultimate technique name or starts like screaming to gather power or something you know like it's, it's also especially seen in dragon ball z so this thing i've always thought of it in this way like i think that like you know screaming like that kind of gives you a boost in your adrenaline like 
you know like adrenaline is a big thing while like fighting or like in, in, in a very emergency situation it's, it's called fight or flight hormone for a reason and <clears throat> you know like like for me i take those things in that way whenever someone starts screaming you know like or like starts powering up i think of it as a way the person who is gathering his or her power is that's way of him or her concentrating on that power and at the same time it's also a way to boost the adrenaline flow so that they can use the power in a more uh, easier way now i've always thought of it that way mount lady here brings out another like interesting um, you know uh, aspect of that the whole uh, thing of screaming out your technique name she says that it gives okay just a sec okay here it is <clears throat> she says that it lets uh, it's a symbol of you and it lets people know what you can do through your moves for real-time teamwork with other heroes warnings against villainous crimes and having people trust you with their lives that's there's meaning behind why heroes yell the names of their moves out loud here it is like the thing that she says <clears throat> okay um yeah uh like the thing that she says is very interesting like she says that screaming out your technique name gives people um like you know like makes people have more faith in you makes them you know like uh whenever they're scared of something happening suddenly coming in with your technique name or screaming out your technique name gives them courage and that's the main thing here like that's also the reason why all might always smiles like you know like that smile like that's this thing also all might kind of said in a previous in one of the previous episodes in the previous seasons he said that uh, was it all might or was it someone else uh, i'm not sure but yeah like they said something like smiling gives you courage so that's why whenever no it was not all might it, it was during that uh, training section you know when they were like uh, fighting against a, like a different school and the tournament thing that happened um <clears throat> Uh, during the uh, rescue portion, listen, rescue section, you know, uh, like uh, the, those little kids that they were acting, like the, the, he, I think he said, he said something like, uh, like laughing and smiling gives you courage. So if you, as a hero, is buzz, uh, like you know, are puzzled or are scared, how will the people who you were supposed to save feel? They'll get even more. Uh, uh, no scared so that's why even if you as a hero are feeling scared and feeling confused don't let it show out in your face always smile because smile is something that gives people courage and that's what a hero should always do and <clears throat> a similar thing like that like as mount lady here says that screaming out your technique names gives them a peace of mind you know it also lets you like you know other heroes know what you're actually doing and at the same time it also is a symbol of you and the more like you know powerful hero you are if like let's just take endeavor you know um <clears throat> okay not endeavor let's take all might here you know now all might's uh like you know delaware smash uh or like you know uh, wash uh, like what else washington smash i think there was the texas smash the smash that he always does Whenever he screams out the name, I'm sure everyone feels safe at that moment. You know, like that's the main thing here. And it's really interesting how she, like, you know, um, let's, what do you call it, explains that thing. <laughs> like, like, you know, we usually make fun of characters uh, whenever, like, you know, like, it's like a running joke in anime that people, like, you know, screaming whenever they're fighting and all using, like, you know, screaming out their technique names and all. Like I've seen a few, a lot, a lot of people also like you know, <laughs> say that oh why the hell do they always scream out their technique names before using them, and like I like you know up until now I kind of thought it as I said before like you know like it, it's like a way for them to kind of concentrate and at the same time it's a way to um you know for adrenaline build up I always thought it in this way but Mount Lady here also gave me another way to think about it. Like, and now I can kind of understand, like, you know, like, what is the actual significance of that whole, like, you know, screaming out your technique name, 
this also works very well because it's like you know in my hero academia because this is like a hero show you know so you you need that so like especially because it's, it's, this is my hero academia i think uh, the thing that mount lady told us about streaming out your technique names is more applicable here because they are heroes they're supposed to save people they're supposed to make people feel calm in some uh, in times of emergency so yeah that's what it does <laughs> So it's really interesting, like, you know, learning how she thinks about the whole thing of screaming out the hero names and making people, uh, making people, people calm down in times of danger. Okay. And uh, then like, uh, then like all the others have the little interview, <laughs> Deku was kind of, you know, freaking out. But when it came to All Might, he started fanboying again <laughs> and uh, yeah and also the the thing then they like discussed about the whole spy thing now obviously like just how like in like all might said like i doubt there's any spy within the students you know we all saw all the students i doubt any one of them is a spy so like what does that leave maybe someone from the school staff who we do not know because i also doubt any one of the school stuff is a spy like you know the, the, the characters that we know for example present mike aizawa uh, midnight um all the others you know uh, who who else are there uh cementos um, <coughs> like all the other like you know teachers like i doubt i doubt that any one of them are a spy you know? so maybe maybe there is someone uh, who we still have not met you know or maybe there is no spy maybe that is just a like weird rumor that the villains were kind of like you know making like circulating just for uh, so that uh, the heroes could you know get freaked out who knows but uh, yeah and uh, oh and then the whole thing with uh, Hawks comes in where we see like you know like we, we got a little bit of a glimpse of Hawks situation where he's actually acting as, as a spy for like you know for ua the spy for ua that is he's spying on darby and the villains so that thing we got to see a little bit again and uh, yeah and then we get to the next portion of the party the party was really nice you know like we get to see uh, all of them kind of like you know having fun in their own way and bakugo was not wearing the <laughs> Santa outfit and uh, Ashida was trying to <laughs> put it on him. That was funny. Also, uh, Eddie comes. Like I thought, uh, like All Might was going to come because you know, like in the previous scene, they were like All Might was. Uh, I think uh, yeah, like All Might. It seemed as if All Might was going to join them, but you know, Eddie comes and um, Mr. Aizawa comes, and <laughs> that was nice. You know, it's a nice little section. Uh, where we see them having fun, Eri having fun, and uh, yeah, then they exchange their gifts. I think uh, Uraraka got De yeah, obviously Uraraka got Deku's gift. There was an All Might keychain, I think that was, and uh, I think Deku got Uraraka's. I think so. Yeah, Deku got Uraraka's present, most probably. <laughs> and Eddie got uh, Tokoyami's present, <laughs> the, the the huge the the thing, <laughs> the, the, no, the 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 weapon thing. And uh, yeah, that was fun. And then in the end, uh, we get a little bit of portion where um, Todoroki asks Bakugo and Deku to come to Endeavor's agency, and I think that's one of the best. Like, you know the way this could go because he's the number one hero now and three of them like you know Deku, Bakugo and um, Todoroki three of them are going to work uh, not work but do the internship under him I think that's amazing you know why because like we've, we've kind of seen them like you know working together like Deku, Bakugo and Todoroki before uh, like you know, like Deku Bakugo work together, um, Todoroki and Bakugo work together, Todoroki and Deku work together, like interchanging all of these like you know characters. But we've never seen the three of them work together. I think 
yeah like like I'm, I'm not talking about the usual like you know like when they fight the villains and all like that's that time they're all working together i'm not talking about that i'm talking about uh certain situations like this where like you know they're, they're doing kind of like a group assignment or something it, this this seems like a little group assignment together so i'm really excited to see how <laughs> this whole like you know group will like interact with endeavors like you know like hero training like bakugo deku and todoroki i don't think we've ever seen them work together at something like this before so i'm quite <laughs> looking forward to like you know like how like the the, the personalities are very diverse like bango is always screaming <laughs> deku is always calm headed and quiet and todoroki is extremely stoic and barely even like you know <laughs> like you know reacts to stuff so <laughs> it'll be an interesting dynamic seeing these three together working together <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and obviously like you know like endeavor is the top hero so like like you know working together with under him is also going to help them in a lot of ways they're going to um you know like learn a lot of more a lot of things and it will benefit them in a lot of ways that as well so yeah i'm looking forward to the next episode so uh yeah so yeah guys that's uh that's it guys that was my reaction to episode number 13 of my hero academia so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so, so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my hero academia so until then goodbye and have a nice day